what did you drink at the pub? I had a uh, cider and then I think a pale ale. Did you have a chocolate stout with me? Oh, I did have a chocolate stout. That was yeah, really nice. Yeah, that was really nice. Chocolate stouts but, are really nice. But you always try new things, whereas so like, I am I quite, if I find something that I like, um, I'll sort of stick with it quite a lot. How do you decide where to go out? This evening, we're probably gonna, there's a new pub that's just opened up, that's been done up. and not, It used to be an old man pub, I think, and I'm just intrigued to see whether they've turned into something a bit cooler and funkier. What do you think of craft beers and spirits? I love craft beers, I love ales. Um, I, I at least think that I notice a sort of flavour difference uh, across the various craft beers I've tried. Um, I much prefer going into a bar and picking one of them over you know, one of the large manufacturers' um, beers. Why? Partly because I think it's going to be more interesting uh, and partly because I think it's kind of cooler to buy from a small independent company that actually cares about its product rather than a, a mass market manufacturer that sort of just spends all its money on branding. I really like craft beers and spirits. Like me too. A, a lot more. If if I would go into a place and um, I would always choose a craft beer, especially over um, a Heineken or an Amstel or anything like that. Yeah. Also, despite the price. Yeah. Like, absolutely. Even if they're more expensive, they're I just would. so much better. It's just, like it. less boring than getting like a standard sort of Heineken or something, I guess. That now, if if I saw a sort of meantime or then maybe a Camden Ale or oh, what's the one they sell around here that's really good it's this American one with the really cool cans um, uh, they, they've got it in like voodoo rays and stuff um, I think I'd probably go for that the meantime has been co-opted slightly um, there's still like that element of like you know where their first brewery was yeah. like you know that there was just a guy in a cellar like the effort that they've gone to like market their products is like something you can like appreciate as a person yeah, like on a personal unique. level yeah and he says that that works then with the Jack Daniels ads yeah because um even though they are like obviously a massive corporation, corporation their advertising campaign is amazing Brilliant. it's so good like I always like try and read it whenever I'm like on the yeah. YouTube because they have a different story every time and it makes you feel like he's a person are there any brands you wouldn't <laughs> drink I think it's easier almost to identify the brands that I really dislike like Budweiser and Foster's and everything else is just... Uh, Strongbow or Carling, yeah. Why do you dislike those ones? They're sort of cheap and nasty. Budweiser had quite good adverts, didn't it? Or quite funny ones that mm. stuck in people's minds, but I think there's only so far advertising can take you because... I'm not going to drink it more than once. Well, yeah, but you're going to base it on taste ultimately, aren't you?